Hello everyone, it's Zora from BR World. Today I'm going to let you know the software of the BR series video controller. As we talked before, you know our controller is a pure hardware based with the very high availability and reliability the performance. So today let's see some control software the operation of the uh, PC or laptop or server to control the software. Uh, the software will be very easy to use. You don't need to install to your PC. You just uh, we have the files to give you just to copy to your laptop or a server will be okay. So this is the file we copied to my control PC, and uh, the software name called the MarfView. When you double click, you can see the four files of the software. You can click the bin. You will see the mark view, the icon. So double click the icon, you will see the interface of login. For the interface of the login, you can see the enemy. Here is the password. There's no password for first the login. You can just to login directly. If you want to uh, modify or add, you can just change the name and to add the different the password because you know the software will have the multi users so let's log in directly you will see the interface of the device information you can choose the com port to control through the rs232 also you can use the uh, cat5 or cat6 uh, rg45 port with network you will see the IP address from here. This is the software name and this is the IP address. Uh, the controller's default, the IP address will be the uh, 192.168.1.3. This is the default IP address of the controller. Uh, here you can, from here you can see the uh, last, uh, the IP address will be the 100. This is for the soft preview and ICO. For this information, you can just uh, check our previous YouTube YouTube uh, video in our YouTube channel for BR World. Okay, this is the IP address. Keep the IP address of the device controller IP ad address the same network. Syncing it with your control PC will be okay. When you done, just click confirm will to go to the uh, operation area of the software let's see this is the interface of the video controller let's see some main parts first from here you can see the display platform this is the controller's interface name and uh, have the three main parts main have the window have the scenes management have the pre layout have the others like uh, communication information video wall uh, power on and power off or the background the running this is the information have the setup uh, include this like communication or output to the configuration and have system uh, have some test windows or have the language choosing uh, this is the three parts of the display platform you can see here later I will one by one to show you the software and uh, in here you can see the option you can to choose the different colors of the interface you can see this is a different color like I will, I will change this one or uh, I will change the other colors uh, like here you can choose the different colors it's for the user uh, friendly the uh, I think this is the uh, how to say a very uh, cute function for this one and from here you can see the connection standards for uh, if you're successfully to connect uh, the communication switch will show screen means you're uh, successfully to connect the video controller uh, from the control PC and the controller side. 
this is the standards. Here's the the screen uh, agreement. Uh, your, uh, for example, your LCD agreement will be three by three. Uh, the column will be three LCDs, and uh, the row side will be three. Uh, also, so this nine LCDs agreement will be the three by three. This is the uh, nine inter uh, nine LCD, and the uh, resolution for which one will be uh, the the one. A 2K resolution and the uh, administrator for this one is the enemy. So this is a uh, briefly of the software. Okay, let's see uh, this one uh, one by one. So I'm going to change the, the the color. I will be prefer. Okay, this one. So from the side, from the rest left side, you can see this is for the input source. I just connect the one. Uh, one input card, it will have four port. And when I power on the video controller, it will be automatically to read my four uh, port. And uh, from, I will show you the preview and the icon first. So have the four port, today I just connect the two input source, the two PCs, so you can see the two content from the preview even though I don't in this room or I'm in the another room for the soft preview to uh, uh, to see the content of of each uh, input source this is the preview and for the ICO you can see uh, this is the ICO function the ICO function will be feedback of the video world status. So this is the advantage preview and the ICO function to show, to let you know in advance or let you know in real time for the preview and ICO. Okay, this is the preview and ICO function. Let's see another. This is for the clear function. Let's see the part from one by one. This is the main part. You can also lock the, the screen on the video wall. Here is the lock thing you can unlock. Okay, clear function will be uh, clear the status of the video wall. This is the clear function. Okay, I'm going to close the preview and the icon to show you more directly. This is the window position. Window position will show here we will show the nine screens, the three by three. You can quick to position your uh, content or source very precisely and quickly, like, like this. And in this is one screen, this is for the physical screen has the four parts. For example, you can, uh, from this screen, from the screen one, you can just uh, to physically divide it into four parts, like uh, this is uh, the quick preview. Okay, this is a signal source window, so you can see the left side. Preview and echo we already showed, and this is a refresh device. Uh, this is the main part for the scenes management, for example. Uh, I want to add the scenes. Uh, uh, I will add scenes and uh, scenes name. This is scenes one. Okay, I can rename this one for inform. And uh, this uh, from here you can see the scenes one I cited just now. This is the scenes one. I will add another scene. I will name the scenes two. Okay, so. From this side, you will see this is the first thing I said. This is the second thing I said. And uh, here you can delete the scenes and also can change the scenes. So you can just click when you operate it and you can just uh, to uh, also to click the change scenes. The scenes will be uh, changed. Okay, this is the one and this is the two. Okay, let's see. This is the scenes management and the poll sighting. You can click the poll sighting, right click, you can modify name and have some features you can just operate it. You can just to add poll. Also, this one can add poll. You can start the poll, so it will automatically 
to roll your pole automatically. This is the sense management. See, I set the three uh, seconds. Okay, I can stop the pole. This is the sense uh, uh, part for uh, the software interface. And uh, uh, as you know, the sense you can save the around 255 things actually is unlimited so you can just uh, set any things and automatically to roll the different things as uh, per your requirement this is the things management uh, uh, for the main part and this is for the pre-layout function for the pre-layout functions uh, uh, under the pre-layout function you can operate the content uh, as in your PC and in this status the others cannot see your operated status this is the uh, advantage to let you uh, edit or to operate the something in advance like you have the uh, PowerPoint or you have the word X, X file you want to edit before but you don't want the others to see it so you can just enter the uh, pre layout function when you just uh, then you can just apply layout so the content just uh, you saved and uh, you can uh, you operate it can be automatically real time to show on the video this can be avoid some uh, operation by, by main man this is the pre layout part and this is the communication switch when this status shows its uh, connect successfully if you are not uh, successfully to log in it will show screen uh, it will show red uh, this is a video wall switch video wall switch is for the LCD video walls power on and power off uh, we have some uh, in another part we will show you how to add the open and close command after you and then you can click this button to power on and power off the LCD with remote, uh, remotely. This is a background running. We'll, uh, we'll just the background running in the laptop, and this is the log off. This is the main part. Let's see the setup the part. This is the communication one. Communication is for the uh, logging or the communication connect way. Uh, uh, choose like we said you have the com port and you have the network port so you can just choose uh, as per your need you want to rs232 or the network port and this is the device for the controller we have the different uh, series of the video controller for this one you can just ask our sales to uh, choose which one is your controllers normally we will choose the two and the three because two is the br series and the three choose the br series they have the previous echo this is the, this one for the communication this is uh, for the output uh, configuration in this demo room i connect the three by three the lcds as we know our uh, our controller one single device can uh, support uh, up to the 16 groups with the different terminal like LCD uh, you can LCD LED projector at the same time so you can add the different groups and cite the different groups the arrangement and the different groups the resolution this is the output configuration and input configuration it will be you just connect the automatically to read your uh, input source content like you have the uh, HDMI port, you have the 4K, you have the IP value and you have the SDIs will the signal will show here you just connect connect automatically so you don't need to set to anymore it's very easy to use and this is for the video wall configuration just now we already said in main part we have the video wall power on and the power off button so here you set the configuration of the uh, open and close command. This is for the LCD video wall because you know most of the manufacturers of the LCD video wall have the open and close command. You just uh, to let us know, or if you use our LCD, we will just uh, to set uh, uh, very easily. Open and close command through the port or the network also to 
uh, to add the command after you done, just, you just click the confirm button. Uh, after that, you can from the main part to power on and uh, power off the LCD video. Okay, let's still back up the setup of the part. This is a video switch. This is for the matrix. Because the controller software, we can control the third party, the matrix. So you can add the different matrix in here and have the name for the command type. You can just to set the uh, instructions in here and uh, control method. This is the controller to control the third party, the matrix. Also, if you have the uh, central control system, we can send you our protocols let you to control our video controller through the central control system. Okay, this is the setup of the part. Let's see, after the setup, let's see the system. This is for the test windows. You can test uh, uh, the window source, the position if uh, for the test information. And uh, this is for the language, uh, the language part. You can choose, we have the modern, for the Chinese and have the English, have the uh, Hangul for the Korean and have the Russian and have the Francis. You can choose the different languages. This is the language part and uh, this is the timing task function. The timing task function is for uh, such the different uh, different time and different uh, uh, days to power on and power off your LCD videos or uh, open uh, and close your things you set previously. You can set, for example, you want to, uh, for example, you want to, to power on your uh, LCD video at uh, Monday on the 8 p.m. You can set in here, and you want to uh, power off your LCD video on the Tuesday at. Uh, uh, 17 oh, you can set here so this is the task of the timing task setting here will to after you set it then the software will read your operated and to uh, follow your operation this is the timing task this is for the system upgrade uh, sometimes no need for this one this is for the booting uh, both settings and this is for the choosing choose for this is for the user authority. Uh, as we know, you can set the different users and as many as you want. To, uh, it's for the multi, uh, multiple user use and uh, different users. Uh, the different users can have the different uh, the authorities in the red. You can just uh, choose and click. You have the main users and you have the other operator. You have the operator one, two, three, four and you want the different operators have the different authority, you can set in here. This is for the user authority. And this is for the modify the password, because for the first login, no password, and uh, you can uh, just uh, to set the different password. It, for the different users, have to set the different password. Okay, this is for the BR series available controllers, the software. This is for the, very briefly, the intro, uh, introduce. Uh, let's review for this one. The software name we call the, the MarkView, and this is a display platform. We have three main parts: the main setup and this and the system have this the interface. And from here you can see this is for the uh, input source uh, read. And if you have the 4K, if you have IP camera, we will show in here automatically. And uh, this is for the software. We also can control the can be controlled via the iPad and browser. So, I think next next videos we will to show you the iPad operation and show you the browser's operation. So, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we will keep to upgrade our videos. Okay, thank you.